Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I am back with another one of these world-famous player collections. Uh, this one focusing on uh, Kingfish himself, Tim Salmon. So, Tim uh, was the Rookie of the Year. He would play for the Angels for his entire career, which spanned from uh, 1992 to 2006. Um, <clears throat> he really was the face of the Angels during that time, including a, an appearance and a win in the World Series in 2002. He was the Rookie of the Year his first year in 93 and had one Silver Slugger Award. Lifetime uh, batting average of 282, lifetime home runs of 299, which was the most for somebody on the Angels until um, along comes some guy named Mike Trout. Interesting that Salmon and Trout are the two. Anyway, we'll leave that alone. Uh, and then career RBIs of 1,016. So not exactly like Hall of Fame numbers, but certainly uh, in, in terms of being one of the best Angels players of all times and most beloved Angels players of all times, he, he ranks right up there. So this is my collection of cards that I've pulled out of packs, collections, and sets in the last couple of years. And here we go. Now, Tim came around kind of late in my collecting uh, era because I typically collect kind of 80s and early 90s, so up to 93-ish or so. And that 93 year was his really, um, his rookie rookie cards kind of came out then. So I don't have a lot there, but I actually have more than I would have thought overall. So starting off with 1991, a couple cards from 1991. So this is his um, uh, line drive pre-rookie when he was on the uh, Midland Angels. And then uh, I have a 90, 91 Bowman has a, has a card of him. As far as I know, this is his first professional card. Uh, and his, his uh, I guess, his, his only true rookie, um, even though he had no major league experience at that time. I don't know of any 1992 cards, and I certainly don't have any. So um, I think that there are no 1992 cards, but 93 is when the card companies were like, whoa, here's the rookie of the year. This guy's hot. Let's uh, jump on that. So some 1993 tops. You can see here. There's his rookie card. And I'm sure he has some 92 update cards or 92 traded cards, whatever. But uh, Upper Deck did make him the, the face of the team for the uh, Anaheim Angels at the time. For the California Angels, I should say. And then becoming the Anaheim Angels. Uh, they also made him the rookie checklist, star rookies. And he has his star rookie card. <clears throat> 1993 Fleer with the least flattering picture. Just some kind of random shot of him. Uh, 93 Leaf which is one of the best card designs of the early 90s, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, 93 Pinnacle uh, Isles. This is him with Dwight Evans. as someone he looked up to, as well as his 93 Rookie Prospects card from Pinnacle. There he is with uh, Triple Play. There's his Rated Rookie from Don Russ. And his 93 score. Then I have a couple from the uh, kind of oddball set of Diamond Marks, uh, bookmarks. Moving right along, we come on to 1994, we get his Topps Rookie Cup card. 94 AL Rookie of the Year for Pinnacle. There is his, uh, oops, it's his uh, Creators, I think it was Run Creators, yeah, the Run Creators um, insert set from Pinnacle here. So Run Creators number 13. There's part of this, he was part of the Dawning Stars, or Dawning, uh, Dawning Legacy for this Ted Williams set. I really dislike this Ted Williams set that came out at this, at this time. But he had numerous cards in there. You can see there's four of them right there. Here's Upper Deck. Good, that's actually a great shot of him in the back. Maybe you should have put that on the front Upper Deck instead of him kneeling on a base. Um, here's the Dugout Dirt, which is an insert set from the 94 Top Stadium Club. The Salmon Run. And uh, then we have 1994 score, which is kind of a cool shot here. The ball coming in. 94 Donruss. 94 Triple Play, which I love the design of this card. Uh, 94 Post Serial. That clearly states he's a rookie star. Then we have Award Winners for 93 um, Top Stadium Club. As well as the Tale of Two Players with Tim Salmon and JT Snow. Two hot rookies in that, in that, uh, that time. Uh, 94 Fleer Up, that's not the update, it's the basic Fleer card. Actually, that's not true. This is the Sunoco one. You can see it down there, Sunoco. So this is not the regular Fleer card. This is the Fleer Sunoco version. Uh, upper Deck Collector's Choice. This is the Blue Border. 
as well as the future is now 25 years old Tim Salmon. I got three of those. On to 1995. Got a couple. This is the strike shortened season from 94. You see his tops base card. Uh, and then his tops um, cyber stats card, which is the insert that came in one in every pack. There's 95 uh, Bazooka tops card. This is the Hall of Gold for score for 1995 and his score base card. I really despise this score set. It's just, I don't know, there's something really off-putting to me about it. On to 1996, we have 1996 Donruss, a couple of those. Then I have this uh, kind of die cut or laser cut card with Topps Laser. I'm not sure why this ever happened. It seems really strange. Um, you can see he hit 330 that year, which is fantastic. But uh, I have two of these, so I don't know how rare those are because uh, I've got two of them in my hand right here and I wasn't even trying. Um, and then on to... Uh, which one is this? Donruss. This is Donruss from 96. 1997. Handful of these tops 97 cards for him. It's really a pretty good design for these cards too, I think. For those. Uh, there's Pinnacle, 97. Here is Studio. This is the, the blue version, not the red version. And uh, Checklist from Fleer. For the Angels. 1998, there's 98 tops. You can see safely sliding into third base. There is uh, Fleer Ultra, Pinnacle, and Sports Illustrated when they made their uh, 97 set. Not Sports Illustrated for kids with the perforated edges, but Sports Illustrated had a card set then. And the last couple from 1998 tops. So that's my Tim Salmon collection. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I missed all the rest of his, you know, after 19... 98 going on to 2006 and probably the 2007 card sets um but lots of rookies in here for these you know kind of three years and um hope you guys enjoyed it for for the kingfish i'll see you next time